Ladies and gentlemen, Brian Books. They have a value that people are willing to buy and sell at. Let them in. That would be my message. Let them in. Okay. And, and I'm going to ask this question and then ask you all to respond after today. I recently read an article entitled The Bitcoin Boom and the Quantum Threat. I bet most of you have read this article by Arthur Herman, who is a senior fellow at the Hudson Institute. The article discussed the fact that quantum computing could pose a security risk to the blockchain technology. Uh, my friend, Mr. Perlmutter, earlier asked Mr. Bankman fried about this topic, but I think it's worth revisiting. And I would open this question up to all of you uh, and ask you to respond in writing. Do any of you worry that in the future, quantum computing could be used to compromise the security of blockchain technology? You know the vibe, plus we shredded that I'm on the buck, I duck, 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 nor am I a professional in blockchain technology, but there is one thing that I absolutely will do, and that's give you my opinion. So today, we are going to take a first look at Quan Platform. We are talking about a possible layer one game changer. Now, I want to give a huge, huge shout out to Crypto Wendy, the O Show, okay? She's the one that put this on my radar, and as I started to dig, I said, OMG, I'm loving what I'm seeing so far, so I have to share this with the community. If you guys have any uh, questions or any comments or any knowledge regarding this platform, please hit me up on the comments below. All right, let's take a look. We have the game-changing layer one code in any language, resist quantum attacks. So that caught this gorilla's attention. You're talking about being able to code in any language. What does that do for the space that the developers being able to come in now freely, not having to learn a new language? And I want to give a huge shout out to the CEO of Quan Platform because not only did he learn blockchain programming and not only did he learn Solidity, but he's giving you a platform in which you're able to code in any language. Are you kidding me? Developers and enterprises can build quantum-resistant smart contracts, dApps, DeFi solutions, NFTs, tokens, metaverse on top of the Quan blockchain platform in any programming language. OMG, ladies and gentlemen. And I know it's an initial impulse after doing my research, but OMG, my FOMO is at an all-time high. No financial advice whatsoever, but I, you heard it here first. Let's go. Okay, now, come on down there. We have quantum comparison. You didn't... You, do you want to go here right now? Okay. Transaction speed, private, 95,000 transactions per second, public, 1,600. Now, if you slide on down the chart, okay, cloud deployment time, five minutes. Now, we're looking at these projects. You got to look at the other ones. You got to look at the comparisons, okay? You have Solano, Polkadot, Cardano here. Do you see this here? Okay. Programming language, any. Hybrid blockchain, yes. Look at the market cap on this thing, 83 million. Are we early? So another thing I love about it, Ethereum, EVM compatibility, multi-language smart contracts and cloud platform integrations enable developers to build quickly and efficiently. Like they're not wasting any time here. Build fast with integrations. Ethereum, EVM compatibility, private and public blockchain, automatized cloud platform deployment, indexing and Oracle APIs enable developers to shortcut the process. These chains are evolving and it's a beautiful thing to see. Come on out here. We have prepare for the quantum threat. This is huge. One of those things that it's not an immediate threat. We keep pushing it to the side, pushing it to the back. Why not? Kind of, you know, look for a, a solution that could possibly prepare yourself. No financial advice whatsoever, but I am looking, okay? Prepare for the quantum threat. The quantum threat is very real. Existing chains cannot defend against it. I'm going to leave that there. So let's get into their docs real quick. wanted to show you something. Quan platform will tackle fast adoption by building integrations into existing and widely used and loved programming languages. You see the smooth ability. Very, very easy transition for people. DevOps, technologies, major cloud platforms, Amazon, Azure, cloud, indexing Oracle APIs, Chainlink and Band Protocol. I said 
Chainlink and Band Protocol. Quan Platform is the first layer one blockchain that rewards developers. After each new smart contract, deployment in each new public blockchain mainnet transaction for a lifetime where their code part is getting used and reused by others. And let's not forget about POR, Proof of Randomness. Thanks to Proof of Randomness, consensus algorithm developed by Quan Platform validation can be done even with a mobile phone or Raspberry Pi. Come on with it. You see what happens when you watch Blockchain Monkeys? You come across epic shit. Let's go. Okay, Quan Platform says goodbye to the ever-changing high transaction fees. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Okay, the solution for this specific problem from Quan Platform is to introduce a low-cost, predefined price range, minimum and max, for transaction fees. Transaction fees will be fixed in USD. This helps to plan and predict costs, not matter if you're an individual or an enterprise. Now, before I let you go, let me drop you with this. Quan Platform has four IPs that were developed by the Quan team besides the many technological and economical innovations. Number one, Quan Platform unique multilingual smart contract development methodology makes Quan Platform usable to 28 million programmers by letting them code in any programming language. Yeah. Number two, Quan Platform's unique lattice-based quantum cryptographic algorithm Implemented in Rust programming language will secure Quan Platform ecosystem members against quantum computer attacks. I'm thinking that's kind of important. And then you have Rapid Cloud Platform Deployment. Let's you deploy in less than five minutes, making Quan Platform the fastest blockchain deploy on the market. Let's see what co-founder and CTO Johan has to say about it. Huge shout out to Leah from Girl Gone Crypto for this interview. Moment. Um, you know, you were just talking about how quantum computing is actually a threat to blockchain technology and cryptography. Can you break that down a little bit more? How exactly is it a threat? Like, should we be worried? Like, does that mean that like something's going to happen to my Ethereum or my Bitcoin down the line? Like, kind of walk us through what is the actual threat here? Your Bitcoins won't be stolen tomorrow, so <laughs> don't exciting. hear that. Uh, how it works, though, because as I said, you can read many misleading articles. So especially, this is the most most interesting and also most dangerous uh, misunderstanding that many people who are a bit into cryptography and they kind of know how stuff works will often say that Bitcoin, for example, is not affected because the SEJ uh, 256 algorithm actually double uh, SAJ uh, 256 algorithm is not that much vulnerable to quantum computers. It still pretty much is. I mean, tracking it won't cost you 100 million years, but 10 million years. So it's a significant, uh, significant attack vector, but we still don't care because we are not going to wait for that one. But uh, this algorithm only protects the past. I mean, this algorithm is used to hash blocks, block metadata and the contents of the blocks and to link blocks together, which means in short, I don't want to be too technical here, that quantum computers will not be able to alter the past, but they will be able to figure out your private keys and spend your money in the future, which is the same level of threat. I mean, that's as bad as it can be, right? Mm -hmm. so, so I'm thinking that that's enough to cause concern. But going back to April, NFT platform Starcall drops 800 Star Wars collectibles on May the 4th day. Starcall is a project launched by Quan Platform, a quantum-resistant hybrid blockchain. The NFTs will exist on the Quan blockchain, which secures metadata and ownership data with cryptography that is resistant to quantum computers. Nobody speaks about the cybersecurity issues and pain points behind NFT ecosystem. Files of NFTs sold for thousands of dollars can easily be changed to memes by hackers. Starco NFTs will be secured by the quantum-resistant Quan blockchain where metadata and ownership information is stored. And you are here first. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I and we will all see each other on the moon. Cause it's the standard in this bitch. XRP. I, I went to YouTube University. And now they mocking me. With no degree. We say about a swift. Keep it walking. We're smoking elders in these bushes. Bitcoin is talking. Oh,